Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up integration to transfer new contacts from Google Contacts to SendGrid. This is necessary to automatically transfer new contacts from Google Contacts to other systems. For example, in SendGrid you can create new contacts and set up mailings for them, and now let's move on to setting them up. First, you need to create a new connection. Next, select the data source system, Google Contacts. Now select the action, Get Contacts, New. At this stage, you need to connect your Google account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, you need to specify the login and password of your Google personal account. At this stage, we provide Apex Drive access to work with your Google account. For this, be sure to check all the boxes. When the connected account appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. There are no additional settings for the Google Contacts system, so just click Continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click Continue. Now, you see an example of data for one of your Google Contacts contacts, if everything suits you, click Continue. This completes the setup of the Google Contacts data source, now you need to proceed to setting up the data destination. Select the system, send grid. Next, select the action, add contact. At this stage, you need to connect your send grid account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, you need to specify the API key. To get it, go to your SendGrid personal account. Next, go to the Settings. API Keys section. Click Create API Key. Specify a name for the new key. Grant Full Access. Copy the API key and paste it into the appropriate field in the Apex Drive system. When the required field is filled in, click Continue. When the connected login appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. At this stage, select the list to which new contacts will be added. Next, you see the Send Grid fields for creating new contacts. You can assign variables from Google Contacts to these fields. To do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. When all the necessary fields are filled in, click Continue. At this stage, you see an example of the data that will be sent to SendGrid as new contacts for each new contact from Google Contacts. If you are not satisfied with something, click Edit and you will go back one step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to SendGrid. After successful sending, go to SendGrid and check the result. If you are satisfied with everything, return to the Apex Drive system and continue setting up. At this point, SendGrid setup as a data destination is successfully completed. Now you need to enable auto-update and select the update interval, for example, once every 5 minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration setup and good luck.